they are corrupt police, nobody respects them, they have no dignity, they have no honor, they have no integrity. Hey, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, greeting the strong name of Jesus. I'm Andrew Lumet, evangelist. I'm here today in Brixton, downtown Brixton. This is the people who killed Joy Gardner, a black woman. Thank you, Jesus. I am Andy Rubme, evangelist, singer, songwriter. Taking pictures of me. What are you? What are you? What are you? I do because I love the fact that what you're you're, you're preaching the Lord's word. Can you have Thank you. Twenty-five. I have chosen a man who lives in the east. Yes. I will bring him to attack from the north. Yes. He tramples on rulers as if they were mud. Yes. Like a potter trampling clay. This is not good. People used to come right out trying to force people to be like them. They went to Africa, they went to Uganda, Zimbabwe, they took all those prime ministers to force the men to become homosexual. They said no. Yeah, but if all men see, are homosexual, yes. who will marry the women? Well, this is the question. <laughs> this is the, this is the yes. question. You Even see? though the women have their problems, the party... Newcomers of so what, where would the black people live? Where did they live? Now, the they moved up like Croydon, Norbury, and um, Fort Neve, them places there. Isn't that too far? Because Brexit is the original they, place that yes, they push them out. They push all the black people out, up to them side there. You know? So, so all these jobbies come over now. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like we don't get no say no more. So people have been here a long time by their business. Yes. They put the rent on for them and they have to move out. For the black man is that he is on the verge of recapturing his position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. These people are the scumbag of the earth. They killed Joy Gardner. And that's why we are here today to highlight the corruption and the incompetence of the police. Yes. Which of you predicted that this would happen? Yes. So that we could say that she were right. Yes. My name is Andrew Lumet. We are here today in the town of Brixton. There is Super Drug. That's Marks and Spencer's. And then back here is Brixton train station. Forces. And then the devil who deceived them will be bound with chain and thrown Remember, in the lake don't of be fire. Remember, do because the devil is a man. Stop yeah. looking for this pitchfork yeah. horn thing. Well, we know that the devil man, is a man, a world leader who this, who made this right. photo. Close. And the devil, she was murdered in her bed. Seven policemen went in her bedroom at midnight. They creep into her bedroom and choke her. They tie a masking tape around her nose. They tie a masking tape around her mouth. She could not breathe, and she died. Her name is Joy Gardner. This is the people that kill her. Preaching starts and ends with Jesus Christ. Jesus began to preach. He said to the people, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. The kingdom of heaven has come to you. Repent. Repent may turn away from your sin. Remove the homosexual flag from the town hall and many other sins that the British commit. So God said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. These people here, they killed Joy Gardner. They are coming and park their car here today. This is Brixton, South London. Uh, we are here today just to prove the gospel of Jesus. The Bible says with great power, the apostles proclaim the resurrection of Jesus Christ and much grace was upon them all. These are the people that killed Joy Gardner. And they have come here today to arouse the black people. So we are here to blow a whistle on the police. Hallelujah, 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 Thank you, Jesus. I am Andy Rubme, evangelist, singer, songwriter. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Praise Thank you.
Thank you, Jesus. I am Andrew Rupma, evangelist, singer, songwriter. So, How do you think black people can can keep Brixton? What What would be your suggestion? It, it, it will never be because, like, they want to change up Brixton. Put in all like yuppies and rich people. You know, people who've been there a long time putting their lives in Brixton. Yeah. Don't get no say. You know, the council don't care. They don't want to listen. The mayor, the mayor is supposed to hit this off here. Yeah. He doesn't mean nothing. The mayor or she or him don't mean nothing. Alright, ultimately love has no colour. Okay. Right? However, the Jewish protect their race and so do the Indians. Mm -hmm. And we must too be looking to protect our race. Yeah? yeah. The man is on the verge of recapturing his Let's position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. The good news for the black man is that he is on the verge of recapturing his position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. This is that Brixton train station here. That, that's the infamous Brixton train station. Well, several years ago, there was a riot in this town called the Brixton Riot. The black people erupted because of police corruption and police incompetence. Today, the racism is still here. It is not abated. And that's why we as pastors, we as ministers, we're coming out to let the world know that England is not a safe place. England is still a slave plantation. The place is being run as a slave plantation. The people here are not free, okay? So you become homosexual. They said no. Yeah, but if all men see, are homosexual, yeah. who will marry the women? Well, this is the question. <laughs> this is the this is the if, question. Even see? though the women have their problem, the body. Hallelujah to the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah to the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Let us rejoice and be glad, giving the glory to God. There's a Filipino woman with her bastard child, a prostitute Filipino woman in the white dress. Hey, look here, you prostitute. Hallelujah. I'm Andel Mel, the black evangelist. I'm having a good time here today in Brixton, South London. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. All right. Today, our text is taken from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 41. God challenged the false gods of Israel. A challenge to the false gods of Israel. How are you, brother? You want to hold this on me? God challenges the false gods of Israel. The Lord says, listen to this. The Lord challenged to the false gods of London. The Lord, the King of Israel, has this to say. You God of the nations, present your case. Bring the best arguments you have. Present your case. Bring the best arguments that you have. London Metropolitan Police, CIA, SAS, bring the best argument you have. Buckingham Palace, House of Parliament, God says bring the best argument that you have. Come here and predict what will happen so that we will know it when it takes place, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, I am Andy Rubman, evangelist, singer, songwriter.
explain to the court of heaven the events of the past and tell us what they mean. Tell us what the future holds. Then we will know that you are gods. Then we will know that you are gods, says the Lord. Then we know that you are God, says the Lord. Do something good or bring some disaster, says the Lord. Fill us with fear and awe, says the Lord. You and all you, you do are nothing. False gods of England, Jesus says, all you do are nothing. You and all you do are nothing. Those who worship you are disgusting. Those who worship you are disgusting, says the Lord. I have chosen a man who lives in the east. I will bring him to attack from the north, says the Lord. I have chosen a man who lives in the east. I will bring him to attack, says the Lord. Come, come here. Come and stand here. This lady is saying that she will rise. Yes. God, God is challenging the false gods of England. He said, predict what will happen in the future. Predict what will happen in the future. Uh, he said, I have chosen a man who lives in the east. God has chosen a man, a prophet, who lives in the east. A prophet from the east will come to England chosen by God. A prophet from the east will come to England chosen by God. This prophet that God will bring is no ordinary person. He will not be a colonial pastor. for the black man is that he is on the verge of recapturing his position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. Yes, the whole planet, the black people are waking up now. That's what's happening. You see the governments now, we're having to wake up. Yes. The African governments having to wake up yes. now and say, wow. Yes. They have to, we, have to, we have to break out the spell, isn't it? Yes. The see, spell is broken. It's broken. It's bro that's why it, 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 there's going to be a war because he has to fight a war to keep his people asleep. That's Amagidion. That is called the war Amagidion. Well, if you know, when they gather thing. all the, the, the allied forces, yeah, the, the United the, the Nations, forces. yeah. Against, against the God's people forces. of God, people, and the fire will come from heaven in Revelation yeah. and burn the allied forces. Hallelujah. 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 I rule this town. God says, listen to this. God says, the Lord, say, I have chosen a man that will come from the east who lives in the east I will bring him to attack from the north this man is coming to attack England God will bring him from the north he will attack from the north he tramples on rulers he will trample on rulers the rulers of England this man that God is bringing he will trample on rulers of England As if they were mud, he will trample on the rulers of England as if they were mud. Like a potter trampling clay. This man will trample on the rulers of England as if they were mud. He will trample them like a potter trampling clay. 
which of your which of you predicted that this would happen so that we could say that you were right which of you predicted that this would happen so that we can say that you were right none of you said a word about it says the lord no one heard you say a thing I, the Lord, was the first to tell Zion. I, the Lord, was the first to tell Zion. I sent a messenger to Jerusalem to say, your people are coming, they are coming home. When I look among the gods, none of them had a thing to say. Not one could answer the question I asked. All these gods are useless. They can, they can do nothing at all. These idols are weak and powerless. These idols are weak and powerless. The good news for the black man is that he is on the verge of recapturing his position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I am Andy Rubma, evangelist, singer, songwriter. Come over here, bro. Come on. Come on, man. We're doing a home video. It's going to go work, Mike. <laughs> Black people, they're always working. Well, you've heard the prophecy that God prophesied he's bringing a ruler he's bringing a man to attack this man lives in the east God will bring him to attack he'll bring him to London to attack he will attack from the north he will attack from the north and God says which of you predicted this which of you predicted this England is ripe for judgment you see that's the town hall there on that town hall is a sodomite flag they have the homosexual flag on the town hall the taxpayers of Brixton this town we live in Brixton they are very all right ultimately love has no color okay right however love has no Jewish protect their race, and so do the Indians. Mm -hmm. And we must too be looking to protect our race. Yeah? yeah. They're angry, they are not homosexuals. They are asking the town hall to remove the gay flag from their town hall. The people of Brixton are saying the homosexual flag must not be on that town hall. They are taxpayers and they don't want it there. They don't want it there. Lambeth Council has become the headquarter of the Sodomites. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, God destroyed. Hey, brother, what do you think about the gay flag on that council? Do you support it or what? No. You see, he doesn't support the gay flag on the council. We're asking people there's a gay. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. There's a homosexual flag on that town hall. Do you support that? That flag there, that's the homosexual flag. Do you support that on the town hall? Because on television, the homosexuals come to Brixton. They put their flag on our town hall. We ask the taxpayers if they support that. You support it or not? I don't support it. Yeah, yeah, because... Um, there are certain things I don't care about. Okay. Because it's, it's all about their sexuality. Yes. Maybe the a lot of the councillors are sexuals. The councillors, it's possible. Even the head of the 
transient uh, be uh, homosexual. So what about there the must, ordinary there must be, there must be the taxpayers who are paying the money to build it, the house and then the, the people put the thing that they don't want it there. There are churches here, there are, there are other people, good people here, they don't want that. There. The councillor alone cannot sit there and put his flag up because he's homosexual. This is the argument. Most of the people here are saying they don't want that kind of thing. The, 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 the simplest way for them, the people, to solve this is in the next election, let them put them out. That's the only way. You may be doing all this, it, it won't work. But this way, ah! did they accept it? No. Not really, because okay. I personally, I don't want it. Oh. I don't want any of my children to be involved in it. Okay, you don't want your children to be involved in no. it? No. Well, that's why... The good news for the black man is that he is on the verge of recapturing his position as ruler of the universe. The bad news for the white man is that his long and wicked reign will shortly be over. This, this way leads, it's, it's, this, it's, way, so, this is our it's awareness. an election thing. This is our <laughs> awareness, yeah, this is our awareness now for the next election so that people can vote them out because this is wrong, the Bible, the Bible reading. God burned the city of Sodom and Gomorrah because these people were there. The boss of the church should tell the people this is not good. People used to come right out to trying to force people to be like them. They went to Africa, they went to Uganda, Zimbabwe, they took all those prime ministers to force the men to become homosexual. They said no. Yeah, but if all men see, are homosexual, yeah. who will marry the women? Well, this is the question. <laughs> this is the this is the yes. question. Even though the women have that problem, the body. You need to take that down because but they are, they are for young me, yeah. for me, yeah. We are, I, we are running out of I, take. I allow that, people. That, that, we are running out of the time to stop you know. Yeah, but that, you're, then you're now a good Christian. You know? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm Andy Lumet. Today I'm here at Brixton. We are asking people if they approve of the gay flag on the town hall. They said more majority of them say no. They don't want the gay flag on the town hall because it's disgusting and it's it's um it's an abomination. God doesn't want it there. Amen. So we're going to close now. All Bible uh, preaching starts and ends with Jesus Christ. Jesus began to preach. He said to the people, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. The kingdom of heaven has come to you. Repent. Repent may turn away from your sin. Remove the homosexual flag from the town hall and many other sins that the British commit. So God said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. How do you become a Christian? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, after you repent, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross. Hey, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Greeting the strong name of Jesus. I'm Andy Lumet, evangelist. I'm here today in Brixton, downtown Brixton. This is the people who killed Joy Gardner, a black woman. She was murdered in her bed. Seven policemen went in her bedroom at midnight. They creep into her bedroom and choke her. They tie a masking tape around her nose, the tie of masking tape around her mouth. She could not breathe. And she died. Her name is Joy Gardner. This is... Hallelujah. Jesus, I am Andy Lugma, evangelist, singer, songwriter. And many other sins that the British commit. So God said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come to you. How do you become a Christian? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, after you repent, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross, and God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. For it is with your mouth that you confess unto salvation. It is with your heart that you believe unto righteousness. Whoever believes in Jesus Christ will not be put to shame. That's the gospel. Whoever believes in Jesus will not be put to shame. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. 
waste on Thanksgiving and on oh no. power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen. Power and might belongs to our God forever and ever. Amen. All right. I'm going to The white man is the devil. The white man is the devil. The white man is the devil. Hey, man! I learned the greatest truth. I've been hearing this thing. All of right, here, we go. here we are now. Here's the black king. All right, there's the black king. I've zoomed him up. There he is. His Majesty. His Majesty. His most sacred majesty, George III, King of Great Britain. There he is. Uh, yeah? I've seen that picture. Right. That's the Re king. Read it. Read it. Now, let's see. It's His majesty. most sacred majesty, George, George III, King of Great Britain. That's our king. King you know George III. They put something in his food and sent him mad and put him in a, and lock him up in a mental oh, hospital. Oh, that's, that's what, what they did to our king. King George. That's, that's what that's they did to our king. I yeah? see. Yeah. That's, and then they went in the throne there and took it over. Hi, I'm Andy Lumet. Today I'm displaying my talent in a town called Brixton. Hey, brother, you want to talk about Brixton? I'm displaying my talent in a town called Brixton. The Bible says a man's gift will open a door for him. Talented people are gifted people. When you display your talent, the Bible says you will, your, your companions will be kings and not ordinary men. Your companion will be kings. God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. We bring sacrifice of praise unto the house of the Lord. Yes, the whole planet. The black people are waking up now. That's what's happening. You see the government now, we're having to wake up. Yes. African governments have to wake up yes. now and say, "Wow, yes, they have to, we, have to, we have to break out the spell, isn't it? Yes, the see, spell is broken. It's broken. It's bro that's why he, 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 there's going to be a war because he has to fight a war to keep his people asleep. That's Amagidion. That is called the war Amagidion. Well, if you know, when they gather all the the, the allied forces, yeah, the, the United the, the Nations, forces. yeah." Against, against the God's people of God, God, people, and the fire will come from heaven in Revelation yeah. and burn the alive. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I am Andy Rubman, evangelist, singer, songwriter.